everyone, it's Miss Mod About You, and today I'm just doing a really quick video showing you guys how to recreate Taylor Swift's look in Allure magazine. So you probably noticed that her main focus um, on the photo is her lips, so they're really bold and dark, and that's what captures the viewer's attention. Um, basically her eyes are just more like settled and really nice dark um, brown toned. So um, I'm just going to show you guys what I used for the face and the eyes. I'm going to show you guys how to get her lips and I'm going to also do um, a little tutorial on how to get her hair which is like very volumized, really nice big bold curls and um, so yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. So for the face, I just used my regular foundation. So as you can see in her video, uh, in her photo, you uh, she has a really nice clear, fair complexion. And um, basically you don't have to go out and buy like a lighter foundation. Just use your everyday foundation. So I use my MAC Studio Sculpt in NW20. And this works perfectly fine. Just distribute it evenly. I use my fingers. You can use a brush or anything else. And then what I do is I do concealer. So I use the Eclipse palette by Coastal Scents. And it just comes with 15 shades. It's really dirty because I use it every day. But what I did was I took um, a yellow concealer. And basically I applied that directly underneath my eyes and just kind of dabbed it out and blended it out. Um, like, uh, like many of you know, yellow cancels out dark circles and yellow cancels out purple. So um, she has that really nice dewy, clear complexion, but like really nice bright, the appearance of like a nice bright clear face. So definitely try to eliminate any dark circles under your eyes. And then I just took, um, took, I just took a concealer. Um, and just basically applied it to any blemishes or redness that I saw on my face. So for blush, um, you can definitely tell she's wearing blush in her picture, um, and it's really like prominent, and that's uh, also a main focus um, for her makeup. So she's wearing like a nice kind of deep kind of plum color on her cheeks, and it's just really nicely blended out into her temples. So. What I did is I took the MAC Blush in Dame, which is just a really nice kind of soft plum color, and this is a matte blush, and it's just really pretty, and I just applied it right to my cheekbones, blended it out into my temples. Um, a cheaper alternative is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Soft Plum, and it's very similar, um, except consistency is obviously different, because this is a mousse consistency, and that's a powder finish. So... Also what you can do is you can apply this to your cheekbones, blend it out, and just apply that powder blush right on top of it. And that'll create a really nice effect. So now I'm just going to show you guys what I used on my eyes. So Taylor Swift's eyes are like nicely winged out, so if you don't want to get like tape and do that whole sort of thing to get like a perfectly nice crisp fine line, then you can use this tip that I have. So basically I took... Um, a jumbo eye pencil. This is actually a jumbo lip pencil from NYX in 725 Hazelnut. And what I did was I just took it and I made a very fine line from my outer from the outer corner of my eye just up until like I followed the guideline of my the end of my eyebrows. So I just kind of drew it out um, on both sides. And what I did after that is I just blended it out gently into um, my lid using um, where is it? my MAC 2, 229 and I just really just nicely blended it out into that um, and I only used a couple shades for this so basically I used a base and I used the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream Stay and this is a waterproof um, eyeshadow in number 13 and it's just a really nice shimmery champagne color and I just applied this all over my lids and after that, I took Rice Paper by MAC, if I could find it, yeah, okay, and I just took it with my finger, I didn't need a brush for this, you just take it with your finger and you just dab it right on top of that um, cream base. After that, I took, um, where is it, yeah, Tempting which is just a really nice old gold uh, by MAC. And I just started at the outer corner of my, kind of where my crease ends, and I just blended it straight into my inner corner. And that created this nice dark effect. 
Next, what I took was I took, um, where is it? I'm losing all my shadows here. Literally. Oh, I left it in there. Okay, basically I took, um, what was it? No, I took this color, sorry. I took sable and I blended it out into my crease as well. And then what I took was I took mulch, which is just a really, I don't have it right here, but it's in the bathroom. So it's just a really nice copper toned uh, warm brown. And I just started it in, um, I dabbed it on with just a fine, um, dense blending brush. Yeah, and I just basically stippled it on to the outer corner of my eyes, just creating that really nice dark wash of color. And for a highlight, I just used a really simple matte color, and it's just Brulee by MAC, which is just a really nice uh, matte off-white kind of color. And that's basically it for the eyes. That's all I did. And then I just applied um, some eyeliner in Black Track by MAC, just on my waterline. And I also just took my Jumbo Eye Pencil again, and I started off with um, that nice fine crisp line and I just kind of pulled it down into like my lash line right here just so it creates a little bit more depth so that's what I did and then I just basically curled my eyelashes with an eyelash curler and I applied mascara I used the Lancome Hypnos this is just the sample size and on top of that, I used the um, Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara, which is a really nice mascara. Um, it definitely volumizes your lashes very well. So I just used that on top. And for my lower lashes, I used Falsies, um, the Waterproof Mascara. So I'm just going to bring you guys in closer just so you guys can see the uh, finished eye look. So like I said, it's just really pretty. Um warm tone browns and I filmed a tutorial on this but I'm not sure if I'm going to upload it because it's really long so if you guys really wanted to see a tutorial on how to create this I could definitely show you guys so yeah that's just the eyes and like I said the face is just really nice clear looking complexion with a little bit of blush and I'm just going to show you how she gets her nice um lips so I have a couple of different options that you can do for lipsticks. I have one high-end and then just two drugstore lipsticks. So um, if you want, this is optional, you can use a lip liner. And the lip liner that I could recommend is by Annabelle. And this is in the color Bordeaux. So it's just a really nice kind of dark um, cranberry color. So that's what it looks like right there. And you could just line your lips with it. Um, but and just fill in your lower lip and then just apply lipstick but I'm not using lip liner because I don't like using lip liner that much so my high-end um, kind of color would be uh, this one in hang up and this is a cream sheen finish and it's just like a really nice dark um, kind of vampy color like I said similar to what she's wearing in her picture and it's just this like really dark color because the main focus is on her lips, so you want to get that kind of perfect. Um, and my alternative, um, I'm going to give you one that's kind of lighter. So if you're not into the dark lips, this is kind of a warm tone neutral kind of color that you can do. It's just like a nice mauve um, with pink undertones. So if you don't want to do really dark lip, you can use this color and it is in 077 Asia and the color that I'm going to be using is one that's like really similar to the one that she has on so this is in 123 um, true vintage and it's just a really dark cranberry color so I'm just gonna put that on Yeah. So that is um, like fairly similar to what she has on. And if you really want, uh, this color is really buildable. So 
built it up to um, until you get the color that you like. You can layer, so I'm going to just take a little bit of Hang Up by MAC and I'm just going to dab it on top. Just to like deepen the color. And that is basically it for the lips. So it's very simple. Um, and it's just a really nice, dark, pretty color. So that's that's basically it for the lips. Um, like I said, just nice, dark cranberry color. And here are your alternatives that I mentioned, which are... So you can use 077 Asia by Rimmel London 123 Vintage, which is, as I find is the, um, the closest color that I could find to um, the one that she was wearing. Or you can go for high-end Hang Up. Uh, which is a nice cream sheen by MAC. So I'm just going to bring you in closer and show you guys the lips. And now I'm just going to show you guys how to do her hair. So it's very volumized and very full, uh, nice bold curls. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you guys how to recreate her hair. It's Miss Mod About You and I'm just doing the hair portion of my Taylor Swift inspired um, tutorial. Um, so basically what you're going to do is my hair is just in loose kind of curls right now because I semi-curled it this morning. So what you're going to do is just take a heat protectant spray because you don't want to damage your hair, especially if you have color treated hair like myself. Um, I bleach my hair so it's definitely um, really important to have like an iron guard or anything like that so I'm just using the Chi 44 iron guard you can use any um, heat protection spray you want just hold it like um, a couple of inches away from your hair and make sure you spray all over okay and then just let it dry for about like 30 seconds to one minute. I'm going to be using my Infinity by Conair Curling Iron and it's already on and I just have it on the highest heat setting. You can use any curling iron but um, if you want like to recreate this exact look I definitely recommend this one. It was around $40 and it's an amazing curling iron. It has no clamp. Um, and I know a lot of people have raved about this here on YouTube, and it's amazing. So if you haven't already checked it out, definitely check it out. So basically, I'm not going to, like, pin up my hair and separate it or anything, because as you can see in this look, her hair is already fairly, like, kind of messy. So you don't really need to have, like, full-looking curls. You just, as long as your hair is curled or like partially waved and curled. Sorry for the lighting, it's kind of, the sun's gone down so my lighting's not as great and it's not picking up um, like my makeup as good as it was before. So just curl your hair, careful, since this has no clamp, it's very easy to burn yourself. I've done it already a couple times. And just make really nice curls. I love this curling iron. It makes amazing curls. So just kind of estimate how long you want to hold each piece of hair on for. just as long as it's curled. You don't have to make perfect curls because like I said, her hair is really messy and distorted in the image so you don't need perfect curls because we are going to tease our hair a lot. So just as long as it's kind of curled.
So it doesn't matter um, how thick of strands you take to curl because you're not going to really tell that your hair is curled at the end of this tutorial. So I'm also, while I'm doing this, I might as well talk to you guys about my giveaway that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway in my next video, so stay tuned for that. I'm probably going to film this right after this video, actually, so it should be up very shortly. Okay, so once you have a decent amount of curls in your hair, you are ready to start teasing it. Okay, I think that's fine. Okay, so now I'm just going to turn my curling iron off and we are going to get to the main portion of this video. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to have a brush. Any kind of brush is fine. You don't need a teasing comb necessarily. Just any brush. And you're going to start off and take a curl and basically just tease it up. Yeah. And just literally just start pushing up those curls like that. And look how volumized your hair is already getting. So as you may have noticed, I'm not using any hairspray for this because you don't really need any. You can add some hairspray at the end just so your hair stays in place, but you don't necessarily need to. So you can't really tell that it's curled like in Taylor Swift's look. You can't really tell that her hair is that curled. It kind of just looks like it's very volumized and um, just like a little bit messy. So there's the difference. <laughs> Obviously Taylor Swift has longer hair so I'm not going to have like the exact same effect that she would have. But it's definitely the same. So just make sure you get all that hair teased. <laughs> My hair looks huge. And her hair looks as if it was um, parted either in the middle or like to the side. So if you want, you can kind of ooh, part your hair to the side a little bit like that and just kind of tease that part up a little bit. And just keep teasing until you get to the point where you like the way your hair looks, really. So that is basically the tutorial on how to create her hair. Very simple, very easy. I guess this isn't an everyday thing that you'd go outside and, you know, just rock this look. But it's definitely kind of fun for certain occasions, I guess. So yeah, um, that is basically it. I guess. Her hair is more like winged out, so just kind of play with it a little bit. 
pull a couple strands out. If you want, take some hairspray. I use the Big Sexy Hair Hairspray. The stuff is amazing. So you just shake it up a little bit and just kind of... You can even take it and tease it like that. I recommend obviously teasing it and then hairspraying it, not vice versa. Because then it just gets really like sticky and. But yeah. So this look just involves a lot of teasing to your hair, is basically what you're doing. So that is my recreated version of Taylor Swift's kind of Allure Magazine um, photo shoot, I guess. And I hope you guys liked it. I know the lighting's really bad, but I hope you guys enjoyed this fun kind of tutorial on how to get her hair. And I hope you guys... Um, like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel and yeah so stay tuned for my contest video slash giveaway and i hope you all have an amazing day bye